Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Your guys, Derek and Cody with you. And guys, the Colts have another re-signing. We were just wondering when was something going to happen for the Indianapolis Colts. And we finally got some news. And it definitely can put a huge sigh of relief for Colts fans. And the Colts are re-signing safety Julian Blackman on a one-year deal, which it looks to be a prove-it deal. Hey, stay healthy. Keep doing the numbers that you were doing, and we'll fix you up with a contract next year when that time comes. But it definitely was a move we needed to make, Cody. At this moment, the Colts didn't have a single starting caliber safety on the roster while Julian Blackman was out there on the market. And it's good that they finally brought him back. We don't know 100% of the details yet, but we know it's a one-year deal. And it basically, the core four that this team was looking to try to re-sign and bring back, they brought back all of them, Cody. They did, yeah. And we knew that, obviously, Julian Blackman, you talked about just the provenness of him. You know, he's been, you know, a really good player for Indianapolis ever since they drafted him in 2022 in the third round out of Utah. And last year, Derek, I mean, you know, I know he didn't play the entire season, but you clearly saw when he was in there, Derek, the type of impact that he had. And remember, this is a guy that was, you know, changing positions. This was his first year playing at that strong safety role and had a career season, right? Four interceptions, led the team, you know, was right up there in tackles, Derek, you know, even despite the fact that he missed the last couple games with that shoulder injury. And so definitely a critical one. Again, the biggest question mark that we all had, Derek, was just the, really was the injury concerns, right? Because Julian Blackman has not, through his four years as being an Indianapolis Colts starter, has not finished a season out and played the entirety of a season, right? He's missed a couple games just about every season. Obviously, he had the, you know, season-ending injury in his second year. He didn't come in, you know, in the first year till a couple games in. So definitely, like you said, a prove-it type of deal for Julian Blackman. And, hey, if he can prove that he can stay healthy, I think you feel really good about you know, the opportunity for him to continue to be one of those long-term pieces in your safety room. And Derek, he's only 25 years old. So extremely young player, extremely productive player when he's out there and definitely makes you feel a little bit more at ease with this safety room. Because like you mentioned, Derek, before this Julian Blackman re-signing, I mean, you did not have a legitimate guy you felt comfortable with playing any position. And so now, Derek, of course, you, you still have to look to the free safety position and say, hey, there's still a couple names out there. Maybe Indianapolis goes and brings in a guy, you know, like a Justin Simmons or a Quandre Diggs. I know they had a guy like Kareem Jackson, who obviously a little bit older. He, he visited like last week or something. So it definitely seems like the Colts are still interested in adding a vet safety from what I've heard. But again, we'll, we'll see on that. I know, Derek, in both of our mock drafts, we had the Colts taking a safety in the mid rounds. And so that could still be potentially something on the table for them as well. But yeah, certainly a major, major thing for the Colts to get back one of their best players in the secondary, a very young and inexperienced secondary, bring back a guy who is a proven commodity, a homegrown guy, which we know how much the Colts value that, you know, a guy that's been productive in your system. And Derek, I think we talked about the big four. Julian Blackman was kind of the wild card. We didn't know with the injury history what Indianapolis felt about him. And obviously you see the contract speaks for itself. You know, all the other guys getting multi-year deals. Julian Blackman, the only guy that we would say an absolute re-sign that got that prove-it type of one-year deal. So overall, though, great player for the Colts and glad to get Julian back there, get a little bit more of that veteran presence back there for a secondary, especially a safety room that was very much in need of some sort of veteran guy. Yeah, absolutely. It was such a big need for the Indianapolis Colts to make this move. They needed it because, you know, this kind of situation you had where – you needed to worry about who you need to draft coming up in less than a month. And if you don't have a quality safety room, then that results in you having a lot more issues to have to contribute to rather than drafting for some of the needs that you have on this team. So it definitely is nice. At least we're running it back 
I certainly hope that the Indianapolis Colts will continue to try and bring in another safety. Like you mentioned, Quandre Diggs, his name is still out there. Justin Simmons, his name is still out there. There's a couple other guys that you definitely could think about with who could potentially be over, come over as a free safety and be able to make a lot of good things happen in this Colts defense. We'll continue to keep you guys monitored on that, but that's it for this one, guys. Just a quick little breaking news segment. The Indianapolis Colts, man, they're running it back. They, <laughs> like I said, their core four guys, Michael Pittman, Grover Stewart, Kenny Moore, and Julian Blackman, all of those guys back. The core guys that they needed to make sure that this team was able to still compete. And we'll see what the Indianapolis Colts will try to get done before the draft. But that'll do it for this one, guys. Let us know your thoughts on the Colts re-signing safety Julian Blackman. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And as always, guys, go Colts. Yeah.